Hello dear YouTube friends and today's vlog is about my progress and the updates of things around and there is something that is very difficult but anyway it could be somewhat a blessing uh, by the way I've mentioned to you in my last vlog that we're extended here for three years, another three years, and then I'll be starting my work as a teacher at school. But actually, my wife and I went to the immigration to finally confirm about the situation because my visa for four years now uh, has, been, has been following the visa of my wife. It's non o visa. It's not for working visa. So if you want to work here in Thailand, you need to have a non-B working visa. That is uh, one of the requirements if you want to apply for work, not only for teaching, but in factory or any other sectors, you have to get a non-B working visa and a work permit from the Ministry of Labor because the Ministry of Labor will not provide you work permit if you don't have an MBA visa. And if you work without these things, then you are working here illegally. So that's a problem now. And we went to the immigration last Thursday, May 20, now it's Sunday, May 23, the time that I'm blogging this situation. And um, the, the higher officer there uh, in the province, in the immigration have mentioned to us, that non O visa cannot be changed to non B within this locality. So I should have to go out. It could be in Lao border. So I need to exit in other country or go back to my country Philippines in, in Philippines to get my non B there and come back here. And since this time is a pandemic, so it's not possible because it requires around 100,000 baht, the least, the minimum cost for the quarantine, the hotels and everything, and the ticket and the flight. So it, I think the cost will be around 100,000 baht or $3,000 that is beyond the capacity of my wife and I and my whole family could afford. So it's not possible. And that was a problem also with my wife and I because we're not able to realize that a few of our friends have already tried to apply with non O visa trying to change to non B. Several months in the past, but we're not able to remember and we're thinking that the province, the immigration there and other provinces are quite different. Because here in Chantaburi province, the officers are very considerate. But knowing that we're on the wrong side, it is kind, it is somewhat like um, disappointing. But anyway, I, I am decided, I have decided already that um, I will try to endure or just um we'll try to get back working even just a year to help some debts and also i have some amount for investing in forex again but now that i cannot work because even if i have masters or even if i have phd degree still i cannot work why because i need a non-b visa and my visa currently is non o and it is not, oh, it's really hot here. I'm sorry. It's really hot. The humidity here in Tama and Peru right now is very, very extreme. That is why I was not able to plant uh, a lot of vegetables, but I'm starting to clean the ground, the surroundings uh, within this month. By first week of June, I'll be able to prepare everything and start planting seeds. But this time and in the previous month, only a few vegetables that are surviving, but the rest really struggled and even died because of the humidity and then there's a sudden 
rainfall so it's not healthy for the plants and i don't have any budget for the greenhouse something like um, in addition to that we're just renting in this house this is not a permanent resident uh, we're just thankful that we're given another three years extension as promised by the new buyer but we're still hoping and waiting because um, the documents are still being processed for uh, the transition of ownership from the previous or the current owner to the possible new owner the buyer who just came here last week so let's get back into uh, the topic that we're discussing right now so I cannot work and with that I have to continue blogging about my uh, progress in my garden here and I also blog my progress in trading forex but I'll start I have a compounding trading plan or strategy right here YouTube friends and I will show you this one in a bit and uh, I will strictly follow this uh, guidelines for 24 months straight and then I have to put tons of hours here <laughs> To really focus and study everything and evaluate my performance week after week and it will be there will be a weekly blog series about this strategy but this will be covered in my other channel Filipino Forex Trader so I'll put the link below at the description box you can visit there if you're interested to learn about Forex trading I've been here for more than six years, but until now I don't have a portfolio of my own because I am really stubborn. I am an aggressive trader, but I could not make consistent profits for a longer period. It only takes like four or five days straight. I have this winning streak and by the next few days I'll blow up all my account. I blow up my account. Why? Because I don't have this um, extreme, I'm very lousy in terms of um, risk control and money management. So it's really important in Forex. 30% uh, will be the risk management. Yeah, 30% will be the risk management and 20% will be the risk management and then 70% is about your psychology psychology side, your emotional side and 10% is the strategy, your plan, your trading plan, your targets, your guidelines, how you're going to do that. So I'll show you this one, uh, a few of the details here, but if you want to see the whole thing about this uh, two-year compounding strategy, if you have some interest to learn Forex, trading or curious about this stuff or you've been into this trading and still you're stuck in the mud you're still in the middle of the crossroads like me then you can follow the progress of my journey here at filipino forex trader that's my channel about forex trading and i have uploaded already a few videos right there that relates to this stuff so i'll show you around here so this is it it's your friends I have a two-year compounding strategy in Forex with a capital of $100 and my broker is XM. And then this one, this side here, we have number of months, so until 24 months. And then we have here the Speedy stands for profit target for the total equity. In percentage so the first month we have a target of 15% per day with a hundred dollars account and maybe others would say ah that's crazy uh, return of investment it's impossible but actually I have tried this one YouTube friends for several times I could even make $50 from a hundred dollars account just one day trading but it's not consistent there are days that you, you can have break even you have less or maybe negative but it's up to you how to control your account so with that I, and 
I, I was able to achieve right here until the third month in my previous um, tries, but I was not able to document the one. So this time, I will never fail to show you the progress, but in my other channel. So this one, and so that's the figures there. So I'll just give you um, yeah, a quick look of this. And this one is being written and produced by myself. It's not being copied from someone else's work <laughs> out there. So it's been months that I've been trying to figure this out and writing and do all the revisions and changes until I come up to this uh, result. So with that, um, YouTube friends, I still have other... Uh, compounding strategy with smaller deposits and if you're interested to learn more about these stuff then you can visit my uh, youtube channel forex a uh, filipino sorry filipino forex trader and then we have i think i i'll be adding open and close parentheses f50 so others would say full full-time trader <laughs> filipino forex trader it's the definition of that uh, FTT is the full-time trader, but mine is FFT, Filipino Forex Trader. So you can see there um, the, about the progress of this. But anyway, I'll upload this one today. But my two-year compounding strategy in Forex with a hundred dollars deposit and my broker, or the platform that I'll be trading with is XM. This will be starting this first week of June, not this week. Now it's 23, tomorrow is 24. So you cannot see anything about my trades yet because it will be starting by this first week of June. And anyway, I'll be uploading another video about the time that I'll deposit my investment of $100. And then on and on, week after week, I'll provide blog series about my progress into this uh, compounding strategy for 24 months and uh, I come up with crazy figures here according to my uh, speculated calculations targets uh, it will be around a million dollars and that's a crazy figure but anyway even I will fall short to half or to even quarter. So what I mean, in 24 months, I cannot hit the target of $1 million, not even half, but even a quarter of the whole target, a quarter will be around $250,000 in 24 months from $100 account. That's, that is still crazy, but it is likely possible. Why? Because I have seen someone from Malaysia or Indonesia. His name is Guranax. Uh, it's a um, screen name in forexfactory.com. Forexfactory.com is a forum for forex traders all throughout the world. So there, that website, I got all the advanced um, updates about economic news, what's going on in the world, and what kind of pair I'm going to trade. But right now, I'm trading spot metals uh, particularly gold but it's also uh shaky and risky but anyway so with that um so i'll be giving you updates to this and yeah i forgot <laughs> uh yeah gurangax guy uh, it's a guy from malaysia or indonesia and he traded $7 from Pax Forex, but anyway, it's a shady Forex broker. It's not a stable platform, but the fact that it was a live account, it was a no deposit bonus from the broker, $7. He turned that one into 146,000 US dollars in three years and six months. In a span of three years and six months, Gurangax turn that seven dollars into hundred forty six thousand US dollars I have seen another guy from here this country Thailand he was a student in somewhere uh, university somewhere in Bangkok 
and that was a no deposit bonus also from FBS. It's also, um, I could not say, a very reliable broker because there were a lot of complaints before, but right now they're expanding their operations and it's really growing. And a lot of uh, big investors are also trusting this broker FBS and they're providing the first no deposit bonus they have provided was $123 and this guy Sukti Wat I think uh, if I'm not mistaken the name he turned that $143 into 57,000 US dollars in two weeks that was really aggressive trading but what I'm trying to picture out here that it's possible there are guys who can turn small deposits into bigger figures but it doesn't mean it's easy it's really difficult but it can be done if you put tons of hours to analyze the markets to really care for all of your account to take full control of your risk to manage your money and of course to sit aside and as much as possible you have to stay away you have to put aside your emotion from your trades whether it is a winning or a losing trades you have to set your emotion aside so that is the biggest thing in forex trading even in stocks day traders and any option traders all throughout the world can agree with me about that matter that it is the psychological side that the traders are really struggling with even they have already 10 20 years of experience in this industry and what about me? I'm just six years here and still growing and learning and educating myself, especially the discipline and the patience. Uh, these are the two important stuffs that plays an important role if you want to succeed into this industry. So it's really important, YouTube friends. And by the way, um, organic gardeners, I have to put tons of hours here into this uh two-year compounding strategy that I have designed and originally written by myself because I have no other choice. We do not know when the, this pandemic crisis will end. So maybe it will take another two or three years more because here in Thailand, it's it looks like a safe country in the previous year, but right now the new cases are increasing to every provinces and localities and so with that situation i need to get out from a country like laos and my country philippines to get my non b visa which is not possible right now because all the borders are closed and we don't have budget or money we don't want to borrow that amount because we are not really sure if i could get non b visa out there or if i can come back here in thailand so much maybe things will get worse so my only option is to really focus into this target i have to put tons of hours into this um, compounding strategy that i have designed here and you can follow my journey and my progress in at my other child filipino forex trader because from time to time week after week i'll be providing a vlog series about the update of these targets and hopefully even not half or even just quarter or below quarter that I can possibly hit within this 24 months $200,000 man is really a big money here for us living in Asia that's 6 million baht from a hundred dollars that's 3,000 baht capital in 24 months so if I got lucky and very serious in taking control of my risk and my management about my profits, maximizing my profits and minimizing my losses, if I'll reach to half of this target, that's half a million dollars, that would be a fortune, but I need tons of hours to put into this thing before hitting that target possibly. So I'm not here into this get rich quick scheme method of making money. No, in Forex, you will not make an overnight fortune, probably an overnight 
blown account <laughs> uh, yeah there's a greater possibility that it can happen anytime a hundred dollars account is quite ver is quite small it's a tiny account much more to my other 25 months compounding strategy strategy with twenty dollars and the other is seven dollars in 30 months why seven dollars i'll try to um achieve beyond what Guranax had achieved in the previous three years that passed that he achieved seven dollars change to turn to one hundred forty six thousand dollars maybe if i can turn the seven dollars into two hundred thousand dollars in three thirty months or three years if that happens then big boys in the market are just sneaking lurking around looking for profitable traders because if a trader can be consistent in his particular target for 12 months straight that's something that the investors have to look for so if i can be able to be consistent for 24 months straight that even sometimes I cannot properly hit the target, but my account is floating healthy, my equity is float, floating healthy, no problem. I can minimize the drawdown, I can really take full control of the risk, and consistently making profits, even not hitting the uh, daily target. And with that, big investors are coming in and they will personally communicate with you. That is why I have my um, public trading explorer at Forex Factory because yeah, investors are going there and looking for profitable traders in a span of 12 months straight, much more two years straight. Then that is something that they have to look for. And more perks and advantages that I will get if somehow Somebody will find me and discover how I trade and how I can be profitable to their firms or something like that. So, but right now I need to create my own portfolio because this is my only option that I can probably make money. My wife is working, my mother is also working somewhere in Bangkok. And me, I'm supposed to have the work because I am the male of this house. I am the man of the house. It's very depressing, YouTube friends. Four years and four months now that I was not able to get back working. Before, almost five years ago, I was working at the university. That was really good. And then later on, I was kicked out from the job. I was not able to balance my time between uh, my volunteer work and community services and my classes in the university so we cannot change the situation we're already here and it is my personal choice whether I will survive or commit suicide but I don't have anything to do but I have to look on the brighter side the positive side life must go on and we have to achieve this if not a half or just a quarter or below quarter of this uh, total targets, I have no problem. As long as this money is floating healthy and growing. And you will see all the progress there if you visit my other channel, Filipino Forex Trader. So this is somewhat a uh, an advanced information to friends what could be my life this year and in the coming year. And if I'll get busy with uh, my other channel so that could be the reason that i cannot um, actively uploading new videos in here but i'll try to upload the videos that i already filmed since last year but until now i was not able to edit and upload them because i don't have much courage and motivation to do that much more that I only have a basic understanding about editing, maybe below bis basic. So we have different skills and potentials and that side, that kind of interest is 
not really uh, compelling me <laughs> uh, the editing side so yeah it, it took a lot of hours it took a lot of time to do for just a short video um, I'm thinking that I have other important things to do so that is why only the basic uh, skill in editing that I uh, possibly understand but not really that uh, as you can expect but anyway um, Thank you for stopping by and I hope that you will stay uh, with us in this uh, channel Organic Gardening with Foma. I'll try to upload new videos about the update of our gardening here. Um, uh, the fact that we're extended for another three years so we have longer years to stay here and that new buyer have said that if I'll be able to maintain properly the surroundings then probably he can add more years but that is why we have a two-year compounding strategy because i don't need to extend more years hopefully within that range of three years extension of our contract here as a renter that i can possibly reach even half of this target that will be a good amount of money to get back or to relocate to our country Philippines so I miss home already I've been here more than 10 years and was not able to get back to fly back to my country for a visit my mother uh, he, she will be around eight years now my wife been here for 12 years in Thailand the three of us were not able to fly back to our country Philippines so I will try my best and I will do hard and put a lot of tons of hours here to successfully achieve even half or a quarter of this target and then we'll decide that probably it's time to go home and I'm already tired in this country in a way there are a lot of benefits and advantages in here but uh, it is still better if you are already in your own country than living abroad. So again, I'd like to see you all in the next episode and see ya.